Hello friends, I'm Professor John Gallagher and welcome to CircuitPython School, an introduction to physical computing on the Circuit Playground Bluefruit, targeted at the absolute beginner. Now this is the same playlist that I use to introduce CircuitPython when teaching my own undergraduate physical computing course, and I share this and other content online in hopes that it helps others. Here's how to get started. The board we're using is the Circuit Playground Bluefruit by Adafruit, sometimes referred to as the CPB. It's about the size of a Ritz cracker, and it's a great first board because it's packed with features, including 10 individually controllable multicolored LED lights, a motion sensor, a light sensor, a temperature sensor, a speaker, two buttons, a slide switch, 14 connection pads so you can expand the board with add-ons by using simple alligator clips and avoid soldering or breaking out the breadboard, and seven of these pads support capacitive touch, meaning you can write code to react when you've touched them. Even cooler, the board supports Bluetooth, so you can use Adafruit's free Bluefruit Connect app on Android, iOS, or the Mac to remotely control your projects. Now to start, you'll need a CPB, a micro USB data cable, be sure to get a data cable. Some cables are charge only, but you need a data cable to transfer data from your computer to your board. And that's it. Now you will want a battery backpack and batteries if you want to create portable projects like the fridge alarm it or the works. who moved my stuff alarm. And in later projects, we'll use additional parts like a NeoPixel light strip, a servo motor, and you'll want alligator clips and pin pin jumper wires to attach things like motors to your board without having to cut and strip the wires. And the alligator clips can be used to easily hook up a louder speaker that has a standard RCA audio jack, or to create fun capacitive touch projects like the Eurobeats or fruit drums. <laughs> or the baby Groot that talks when his leaves are touched. I am Groot. Now, although we're using the Circuit Playground Bluefruit, also known as the CPB, most of the videos in this series will also work on the Circuit Playground Express or CPX. The Circuit Playground Express can't do Bluetooth, but it can do just about everything else. Now, these videos won't work with a Circuit Playground Classic because that board doesn't run Circuit Python. Now, while we'll learn Circuit Python by using features in the Circuit Playground Bluefruit, the concepts we'll learn will translate to any of the hundreds of other boards that also run Circuit Python. In fact, in the physical computing course that I teach, we start learning Circuit Python on the CPB, and then we take what we learn to run Circuit Python on the Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect and even on the Raspberry Pi 3A+. So CircuitPython runs on hundreds of boards. It's one of the easiest and most powerful ways you can program a microcontroller so you're in the right place. So I hope you enjoy these lessons. Feel free to share with educator friends and others who want to learn electronics making. Be sure to like and subscribe because there's lots more to come. And if you like what you see, please let me know. Ready to get started? We'll queue up the playlist and let's make something awesome.